Welcome to the University of Rwanda and specifically to the College of Medicine and uh, Health Sciences. As you were saying, you have been visiting College of Education, which is at Lukara. And here it is, uh, we call it <coughs> Remera Campus. And the College of Medicine has different schools and uh, all schools within the, the College of Medicine and Health Sciences is focusing on health. And uh, we have a School of, of Medicine and Pharmacy, School of Public Health, School of Health Sciences, School of uh, Dentistry, and School of Nursing and Midwifery. And why do I choose uh, to welcome here in the Skills Lab? Because the Skills Lab is the foundation of health sciences. And uh, to value interprofessionalism uh, for our students coming from different schools, uh, mainly the, the first year they are uh, learning together. And those first year are mainly at, uh, at Huye campus. Uh, uh, first year and second year they are at uh, Huye campus. And when they are growing, because at Kigali they have many specialities, they are moving to, to, to Kigali. Because at Kigali we have many different referral hospitals, and it is uh, here, than they ca here that they can get the skills they, they want to learn at the, at the high level. I'm going to give you a little bit of introduction on our skills lab. Uh, this uh, skills lab is used uh, by, it can be used by one student, a group of students, a group of instructor uh, upgrading their professionals. So um, this skills lab, we, we chosen this first row because we have high fidelity management. Before the student performs the scenario, we, we have a screen here. We have a screen. If the students, uh, if the teacher have a, a video or want to show them before they go on the real mannequins, we we play a video here, and then they 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 look and ask questions before they put hands on on the mannequins. Uh, I will take you to our seaman. This is one of the most uh, high fidelity mannequins we have in the College of Medicine and Health Sciences. This station uh, is called ICU, Intensive Care Unit, where we have uh, patients in critical conditions. The next, uh, the next station we have is the same with the other one we had. Here you can hear the fetal heart rate of the baby and the baby as well, the placenta. It can make the normal delivery or dystocia. Then here we are setting the speed of one minute. The fetal heart rate it is 140 BPM, and now we don't have dystocia. So this mannequin it make itself delivery. Uh, a midwife or a gynecologist oh. is ready here to receive the the, 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 the baby. These are the gynecology, gynecological conditions. Here we teach students how to assess uh, 
the breast to find out if the, the patient has breast cancer or other gynecological conditions or also vagina examination which the students are aware how to perform it perfect. I uh, will take you to the next session. If um, after, one week, after one month and two weeks, you can come to, um, to family planning. This is the family planning station. We ask uh, the mother, we, we give options to the mother that we have, and then it's her choice to choose which uh, family planning uh, she wants. We have IUD, we have uh, implant, and we also have drugs or we have the also we have the natural method for runigi that's how we call it in kinyaranda yeah so this is um 
this this mainly is the high fidelity mannequin uh, stations and we also have the other room for other for IV insertion, uh, urinary catheterization, drug administration. Also we have masters in, uh, in epidemiology from the School of pa Public Health. We have a, a long list and the, each school has uh, undergraduate and also postgraduate within the, the, the college. And also for the, the numbers, for undergraduate, we have uh, about 3,930 students. And uh, we have about uh, uh, 37 male, female. The portion for male is more higher for male rather than, rather than, rather than females. Because for the, 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 the first graduate, I mean the undergraduate, we have about uh, 49, 39 for females, while for male is about uh, 62. In total, the, the, the postgraduate, we have uh, 443 students. The portion of masters, in undergraduate, we have about 3,900, and when they upgrading, the number is becoming lower and lower. But we are quite doing well. Uh, and for Huye campus, as I told you, we have different campus. We have campus in the south, which is Huye campus, for mainly undergraduate. We have also Remera campus, for past graduate, we have also Guamagana campus. It is uh, mostly uh, undergraduate for, for nursing, bachelor degree in nursing, yeah. And uh, we have different skim, uh, skills lab, specifically for ophthalmology, also for health assessment, because we have to treat our client holistically. For the specialization, those uh, from ophthalmology, they have the specific skin, uh, skills lab is downstairs. Dentistry also, I think it is on the table, it is still under innovation, but they have their own skills lab. Those doing physiotherapy, they have their own skills lab. This lab is shared by all students from this college, but each school, each speciality, has his own skills lab. I want to give you um, a little bit of guideline how the student use the skills lab. Because uh, we have so many students from different colleges, before the student comes to our skills lab, they book online. We have a link on the website of the UR and then the student go there and follow the instructions where they have to say if we need, they need instructors so we can be available to help them. That's if they are coming for self-demonstration. And if they are coming for lecture, the, the teachers or the clinical instructors book online and then they precise what demonstration they are going to have and the materials that they need so we can prepare that. And these uh, clinical practices are done before the student go to the clinical practices in the hospitals. So they learn the skills and then they come for themselves. They, they do three times demonstration and then they do what we call OSCE, which is Objective Structured Evaluation clinical evaluation. This is a screen where the student or the instructors play the video before they start a, le a lesson so the student can have an overview of what they are going to learn. As we said before, this room is for general practices for nursing and here one of them, is, the common one here is the urinary catheterization. This is the female mannequins and this is the male mannequins. 
We have to have both male and female because the procedures are different. The one we have here is the health assessment uh, mannequins. Here you can hear different sounds in the lungs or the heart. Let's say the wheezes. This is the remote for the mannequins. If you want to put, we have uh, the set for heart, we have the set for lungs. If we want to teach the student different sounds of the lungs or the heart, we press on, on different numbers here. Let's say for the, the normal lung, we have 01. There I press 01 and then I hold my stethoscope. Uh, a student hold another stethoscope so I can hear if the, the, it's the normal sound. Yeah, there it's the normal. If I want to change to another uh, sound, let's say final crackers, I put. So if I change there, I can listen and ask my student which sound he or she can hear. And uh, as been said for the health assessment, we teach also them how to take the vital signs with like blood pressure, uh, blood pressure and thermometer uh, temperature and heart rate and so here we teach the student how to treat the open wound and how to, to, to suture the wound, yeah. The nasogastric tube, how we teach the student how to insert the nasogastric tube. Here are different uh, materials that we need for the nasogastric tube. This is the one we use when teaching for students how to draw blood from the vein. The student take or the instructor take the syringe and then insert in the arm. If uh, he hit the right vein, the blood comes right in the syringe. But if not, the blood stays there. That's when that's how we teach the student how to draw blood from the vein. This mannequin as well is for ventilation. That when we ventilate the patient, you can see it. Yeah, we use the ample bag and also the mask for this mannequin. And these mannequins are used for CPR. How we perform the CPR. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So this one we use it from for students who are beginners from how to learn how to suture and this one looks more like skin. This is used for the student who are a little bit advanced on how to suture. Yeah. So that's it for what we have for our skills lab. Those are the basic station that we we set. That, that are most common used here in the skills lab, but we also have other stations or procedures like enema, bed bath, and so on. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the IST Center. I'm Didone Kairanga. I'm the Deputy Coordinator of Postgraduate Programs. And uh, uh, we come to this computer lab as one of different uh, computer labs of this campus. Uh, we have about uh, four computer labs and they are all connected. They have computers and the internet connectivity as the resources that are used by our students. Because when uh, lecturers are teaching, students are requested to go to come here to ICT to